I'm going to factor this polynomial without trial and error because you notice I'm going to have to figure out, okay, so 3, 2, what's going on? So I don't even want to bother with that. I'm going to go straight to the quadratic formula. We're going to say this is our original problem. I'm going to say this is equal to 0 so I can solve for x using the quadratic formula. And I'm going to do A, B, and C. So you can easily see this. And then I'm going to write the formula in colors. So this is the opposite of B plus or minus B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. Markers get scrounged around here. This needs to go all the way across. That goes all the way across. This bar goes from the beginning of the minus to the end of the radical. So now I can put in my numbers. 20 is B, 6 is A, and oh, 6 is C. So now it's time for arithmetic. So I have negative 20 plus or minus. 20 squared is 400. 4 times 6 times 6 is 36 times 4. Is there any other easier way? Eh, that's fine. So I can go to some scratch paper and do 36 times 4 is 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 144. A little pause there. I don't know what happened. So there's that 144. And 2 times 6 is 12. 400 minus 144 shouldn't be that difficult. 4 plus 6 is 10. Carry the 1. 4, 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1. And 256. How nice! So negative 20 plus or minus the square root of 256 over 12. The square root of 256 is 16, so I have negative 20 plus or minus 16 over 12. Now I can go in both directions. So I have negative 20 plus 16 over 12 and negative 20 minus 16 over 12. Let me do this one first since I squished it up there. Negative 20 minus 16 over 12 is negative 36 over 12. Um, you can reduce this to 18 over 6, which is 3 over 1. So this is negative 3 over 1. Since I'm out of space, I'm going to do that. Negative 20 plus 16 over 12, this is negative 4 over 12. Reducing all the way is negative one-third. So there they are squished in the corners. So negative one-third and ooh, negative three over one. That's interesting, isn't it? So these should go up here. So I have three. This is the blue one. Change the sign. 3x. So this three is the front end. Change the sign so I have a plus and then the numerators on top. 1x so that's the one. I change the sign, plus 3. So this should be the factorization. So this is the 1 over here, and this is the 3. This is the 3 and the 1. And so we check it. And we go, that we get 3x squared. Things aren't looking good. 3x squared plus 9x plus 1x plus 3. Huh. That doesn't look quite right. What's the difference between them? The difference is, is if I multiply this through by a 2, then I get what I need. So I could have factored out a 2 to begin with, and things might have been much easier. So what I need to do is just come up here and add a 2 on the outside 
I have a different color? No, of course not. Oh, yes. So this two that makes it all work, you just stick on the outside. And then you have your prime factorization of your polynomial. And you didn't have to do any trial and error at all.